Hi everyone, I'm Zan from Felon Fair, and I'm here today with Colton and Thomas from the Felon Fair team to show you how to not only uh, purchase your kit and get your items and stuff like we've already shown you in a video about the Epic Circle, but how to actually assemble a kit uh, for an event. Now, this is great for uh, whether it's cosplay, LARP, uh, film, if you're going to be building characters. These are great tips because uh, you really need to kind of stair step it up uh, to find what really works practically for you. Uh, so, we've, as you can see, we've already started. We have no armor on. Um, is it well, actually, he's got a gambeson on. You do have a gambeson. So you're, you're a little ahead of the game here. A little bit. Okay, well, Cole, he's kind of beating you. So anyway, so Thomas already has a, uh, a gambeson on. So, so Thomas, why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about the gambeson and what you like about it? Well, part of what I like about a gambeson is, one, it looks stylish. Two, it makes a great jacket for any sort of character. It gives you a regal appearance. It does add a point of armor in our armor system. It's very light. It's very flexible, so I still get to keep all of my mobility. Buttons up nicely, and then if I did want to add any other layers onto it, it's a great base piece to continue to build up. So the Gambeson looks great, and it provides a point of armor, which is key in any sort of kit. Uh, it's definitely something that uh, somebody in this period would be thinking about when they're choosing their garments. You call that armor? That's not armor. This is armor. Okay, that, that is that is true. This is yeah, chainmail will in most cases provide you more protection. So Cole, tell us about chainmail. Chainmail is a great piece for any kit. It adds armor without decreasing your mobility. It's great. It's light for the armor value that it provides. Uh, it's flexible. It can go under things. It can go over things. Uh, it's basically just the quintessential hero piece. And from a historical perspective, chainmail has been used by so many cultures throughout history that is almost universal and fits with everything. Well, what about your hands and your feet? That is something to consider. Thomas, what you got on? Here, I'm wearing steel bazoo bands and matching plate for my greaves. You can use plate armor to subsidize in different places that are high value targets in combat, such as my arms and my legs. I don't have to wear it everywhere. It's a little heavy, but it gives great armor points during any battle. And also, it's easily customizable to give your character a little extra personality. If your character or culture do not allow you to use steel plate, Lamellar or splinted steel provide a historically accurate alternative with similar protection value. What else you got? Well, while I am a Kingsman and I could put on more armor, I'm feeling like fighting light today. I think I'm good. You ready for this? Let's do this. Thank you for joining us today, everyone. We hope what you got from this video is that no matter if you wear all your equipment or just one or two pieces at a time, as long as your equipment is tailored to its use, so whether that's a film, a photo, a LARP event, as long as you're wearing the equipment that is going to make you most effective, you don't need to tank yourself out and you don't need to be afraid uh, if you only are wearing a few pieces of, for example, plate armor, that if that's what works best for you and that is what is going to make you most effective on the battlefield, then that's what you need to be wearing. All of this armor came from Epic Armory, so check them out. Uh, you can find their website online. Also, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Hopefully, you found this helpful. If you did, please let us know. We'd love to see what kits you make. Uh, we'd love to see uh, how this inspired you to uh, work with the resources you have to make your event, your next character, really, really great. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.